What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Cups are sad to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. <clears throat> um, thanks, everybody, for all the recent donations. I want to say that. Um, I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are just the best. Thanks so much. So um, so we're going to get into it, this daily tea. Um, thanks for all the new subscribers. I appreciate the, all the love and support. I really, really do. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. <clears throat> Only you know you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. You have to plug the message or messages in to your own life, how they resonate, okay? All right, so um, the channeling I received was um, um, psychic abuse and exploitation is about to go very, 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 very public in a particular city soon. Um, abuse and exploitation of a particular, very particular popular psychic in, um, of the past in their city. Um, it's about to go very, 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 um, public and it's about to benefit this psychic in a huge way. Um, uh, police involvement has already been here and it's, but it's about to go very public and it's about to benefit this psychic and, um, and her kids in a huge way. You plug it in, how it resonates. So it's a fin psychic, I'll tell you that. She's a fin psychic, she resides in a city. And she's been abused and exploited in the past. It sounds like by her community or by, by, by somebody. I'm not sure exactly who. Um, maybe we'll find out who in here. But she's been abused and exploited in the past by somebody. I heard the police has already been involved with this, but it doesn't sound like they've been involved publicly. Um, but soon they're about to get involved publicly, which I heard is going to, so I think they've been involved behind the scenes is what I'm trying to say. I think they've been involved behind the scenes and, um, I don't think they have told the psychic they've been involved, but they have been, um, now I heard she's a very popular psychic in her city and her area. Um, so I, she she might I think I feel she probably knows they've been involved behind the scenes like intuitively is what I feel but she might not have been um I, I mean everybody's skills talents levels etc 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 or are different so she might have picked up on the fact that they've been involved behind the scenes or she might not have is what I'm trying to say so but she's a very popular psychic in her city I'll tell you that she's very popular so I think um um, people like her, people like her, and, um, um, they, they either like her as a psychic, or they like her as a person, or, the, but they like her, they like her, whether they like her because she's a psychic, or her services, or other reasons, but she definitely has been abused and exploited in the past, but I heard it's about to go very, very, so public, and the police involvement, it sounds like it's been, behind the scenes in the past, but it's about to go so, so, so public. It's about to benefit her and her family, I heard. So, um, uh, I'm sorry, not her family, her kids, her and her kids. So, she has at least two or two plus kids. So, it's going to benefit her and her kids in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, in a huge way. In a huge way. So, it's going to benefit her and her kids in a huge way. Um, so, you plug it in how it resonates. Well, it should. It should. Um, she sounds like a light side being. She doesn't sound like she's like a dark art, dark art spiritualist that like an energy manipulator or something like that, like an energy manipulator or um, or over there conjuring up like evil spells on people, putting hexes and curses and hoodoo voodoo, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera on people, like the dark art shit. So um, um, she's very... <clears throat> very light side. She's very light side. She's very light side. I heard so. Well, well she, so if she's very light side. She deserves it. She absolutely deserves it. So kudos to her. Um, femme psychic, whoever you are, ma'am. You have at least two or two plus kids. I'm feeling. 
probably is going to benefit you and your kids. You have been very, um, you've been explo exploited and abused in your, and you reside in the city, a city and us, urbanized area. So it's really going to benefit you. Um, all this going public. Um, and I heard it's about to go so, so, so public. Um, but I think it's about to go public to, to benefit you and your kids, but you were, you were abused and exploited in the past. Either you or your kid or kids or all of you were. There was heavy abuse and exploitation in the past. Either of you, your, your kids or both. How that resonates and applies, ma'am. You are a femme, psychic, and you reside in a city. This is about to really piss off the people that wanted to continue to abuse and exploit you. But these, <clears throat> these people are about to go down. It's really about to piss off these people that wanted to continue to abuse and exploit you. But I heard um, it sounds like the energy shifting um, or is about to shift. And uh, these people are about to go down. So there's very toxic people out there, psychic, uh, thin psychic that apparently enjoyed you being abused and ex exploited in the past. They enjoyed you being abused and exploited. Now, there's many types of abuse for anybody who doesn't know the nurse coming out of me. There's many types of abuse, mentally, physically, sexually, financially, um, spiritually. There's many types of abuse. So however you were abused, it could have been in one area of, the, of the, this abuse range or two or two plus. But the abusers of the past, obviously, Abusers, they usually don't like to break the cycle because it makes them feel powerful, it makes them feel dominant and in control, it makes them feel like they're better than other people. But when you abuse somebody, that's not the case. Um, it's really not. Now, you know, there are people that make mistakes and they truly do want to change their life, absolutely. But typically those types of people don't want to change because it makes them feel better than other people it makes them feel better than the people they abuse and exploit so it inflates their ego like grandiose ego inflation so they don't want to change because it makes them feel better inside which i don't get that type of behavior i don't get it but i don't enjoy abusing people either you see what i'm saying so <clears throat> But however that resonates, um, your abusers, whoever they are in the past, them psychic that resides in the city, they're going to be pissed about this. I think they're going to be pissed about the police involvement becoming very, very, very public. Um, I feel the police might come speak to you. I didn't hear that they will, but I feel they may. And I'm, I'm just being serious. I did not hear they're going to, ma'am. I didn't hear they were going to, but I, I feel they may. And I'm just being serious. Um, I'm being serious. Spirit messages. I heard get another one. Spirit messages. Oh, okay. Um, all right. So we have. Adjudication, sudden wealth upright, poverty reverse, distant horizons upright. So number 30, 11, 37, or 36 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 30, 11, 37, or 36. Um, we have, okay, so let's see if we have anything. Very important information is about to be given to this feminine psychic. Very important information. Lawsuit energy coming for sure. Very important information is about to be given to this fem psychic. Very important information. Lawsuit energy for sure. So 
some kind of information is about to be given to you, Fem Psychic, that resides in a city that's going to result in some kind of lawsuit energy. Um, but I think for you, it's going to be positively uh, positive because you are the one abused and exploited. So um, I think this is you filing some kind of paperwork. I heard very important information is about to come to you. So, and somehow police involvement is about to go become very public in this abuse and exploitation of the past of you. So I think the police might, I think there might be an investigation currently ongoing or about to start maybe in to people that have abused and exploited you in your city, ma'am. And I think they might come speak to you. I didn't hear that. That's just intuitively what I feel. I'm serious. We have the law. We have the courts. We have legal here. So, and police. So, I think they've already started an investigation publicly, or they're about to, the police. And I think they might come speak to you. And I think that might be where you get the information from, ma'am. Um, so you can place a lawsuit. Maybe you're going to find out who your abusers and exploiters are if you don't already know who they are, ma'am. Um, some, I feel you already know who they are. I mean, we have like 14,050 um, of you guys on here or something like that. So whoever this is for is what I'm trying to say, okay? You have to plug yourself in where you fit. But, um, but yeah. And you are going to be very successful. And you are going to be very successful. So um, some kind of important information is coming to you soon, Fem Psychic. You're going to be very, um, inter uh, you're be very successful in this lawsuit. Filing legal action against person or people, the abusers and exploiters of you in the past. Um, and um, Sudden Wealth, I think, winning some kind of money in this lawsuit. I think it's going to be regarding some kind of abuse and exploitation and involves your kids too. Um, I feel for some, your kids might have been abused and exploited too. I think this is standing up for your rights, liberties, freedoms, and um, your person here. I mean, if somebody, that I, if somebody abused and exploits somebody, that's invading somebody's rights, liberties, and freedoms, like their personal right to liberties and happiness. When you invade, like abuse and exploit somebody, you're invading their personal rights to liberties and happiness. And that's just the damn truth. Um, so yeah. Said and welcoming. Um, but this sounds like after the legal, after the legal here. After the legal, the court, the lawsuit, um, what have you, what have you. Poverty reverse, you're not gonna be in poverty anymore. And Distant Horizons Upright, this is in the future, and it's going to make you very happy. A very significant swinger party that's about to occur soon is about to blow all to hell, go the other way. Very soon and very quickly. This is about to benefit you in a huge way. You do not energetically connect with these people, but behind the scenes, it's about to benefit you in huge, huge, huge ways. Ben Psychic. Okay, so Fem Psychic, I'm pull, pulling you in very strong today, ma'am. Very strong. So, um, okay, so there's some kind of behind-the-scenes swinger party that's about to occur soon in the universe. It hasn't occurred yet, but it sounds like it's about to occur soon. Now, we're 826 of 2022 right now. Um, so I'm feeling for some of you Fem Psychics that reside in a city, if this resonates for you, I think it's going to happen this weekend. I didn't specifically hear from the spiritual universe that it's going to happen this weekend, but I mean, logic, intuition, and reasoning would probably assume it would probably happen this weekend. 
I mean, we're Friday morning right now. So probably either tonight, Friday night, or Saturday night. Maybe Sunday night, but probably Friday or Saturday night. 826 or 827 in 2022. And I'm just being serious. Um, but whenever, I didn't hear specifically when this um, sex, um, swinger sex party is going to occur. But logic and, and intuition and reasoning would state it probably happened this weekend when most people are off, if they are off. And I'm just being serious. But whenever this significant swinger party is, I heard you do not energetically connect with these people. So you don't connect, your, you don't hang out with these people. You don't speak to these people. You don't communicate with these people. You don't share your energy time or money with these people. Um, but it's uh, going to occur, occur in the universe soon. It's some kind of significant swinger party. But I heard it's going to blow all the hell and go, go the other way soon and quickly. So... Their intentions to ha is to have this swing or sex party, what have you, what have you, what have you, probably this weekend. Um, but whenever it is going to be, whether it's this weekend or Monday or Tuesday, or what have you, what have you, I heard it's going to go all to hell. And when it goes all to hell, basically, it's going to benefit you behind the scenes, um, them psychic that lives in the city. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates, um, whoever you are, ma'am. But that's good for you. Um, now, you're not obviously going to be there. For some, you might hear about it. I didn't hear you were going to hear about it, but you might. It's going, it, this weekend, this weekend, and it's going to go left very quickly, very, very, very quickly. Several shocking series of chain events are going to occur here so soon and so quickly. These people are going to be shocked. Blow all to hell. Okay, I did hear this weekend that was confirmation, this weekend. So, I, this weekend, so I'm thinking... Tonight, Friday night, 826 evening, or Saturday night, 827 evening, or it could be during the day, or Sunday night, 828, this weekend. So I'm thinking 826, 827, or 828, and I heard it's going to blow all to hell soon and quickly. So I mean like left, like, like soon and quickly, like. I don't even feel they're probably going to be, be in there doing their little sex party, rendezvous, switching it up, threesome, foursome, 50 on some, whatever they're doing in there. I don't even feel they're probably going to get to that. It's going to go left so quickly. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. Um, that's yikes. Um, I don't know. I've never participated in swinger or sex parties, nor do I ever want to. To me, that's the most disgusting thing known to man, sharing all that body fluids with so many people. Um, and you don't know who they're sharing it with, with other, um, like you're sharing all this body fluid and saliva and bodily fluids and maybe blood in some of these cases with other people, I mean, semen and whatever, what have you, with other people, many other people, but you don't know who they're doing the same sex party and same um, sex party, same sex group sharing all their bodily fluids, blood and saliva and semen and um, what have you, what have you with other people too. Who's to say they're not going out with other sex groups and other sex parties and other what have you, what have you. What if somebody ha contracts HIV over there? What if somebody contracts FB? What if somebody contracts trick? I mean, and I'm just being for real. So that's why I don't do, uh-uh, I never have. I would, I've been asked to do it many times when I lived in Texas, many times, but I always declined it, always, um, because of those reasons. And I had not even been through nursing school at that point. I just, common sense would tell somebody that's not a good idea. And that's just the damn truth. And I was married at that time. I could get man part if I wanted. And that's just the truth. <laughs> So, I mean, why would I want more man part? And that's just the truth. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I'm not trying to be crass. I'm just being for real. But 
my point is, is this is about to go left very quickly, Fem Psychic. Whatever, whoever is involved with this upcoming this weekend sex party, and this reading has went very left, I just want to say. Uh, group orgy, dynamic, swinger party, what have you, what have you. I don't care how they're masking it. Um, it's people wanting to take the clothes off and get in other people's pants and a lot of them. And I, I don't care what they're masking it as. Uh, wonderful shindig, a wonderful party. Everybody dresses up and looks nice and blah, 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 blah. I don't care how they're masking it. The goal and premise at the end is to get everybody's clothes off and to get everybody naked and to have sex. And I'm just being for real. Um, I'm serious. And, and there's going to be one more than one sex party this weekend. One of them, it's an older feminine energy, 40 and above, planning this. She has hidden cameras involved with this. Many people are about to get wind of this, and they are not going to come. She wants to secretly film them to make money. Dark web. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. So, there's two of them this weekend. At least two. One of them, there's an older feminine energy, 40 and above. She's using some kind of secret video um, hidden camera. Uh, plans to use some kind of secret hidden camera this weekend to for the sex party to basically, um, I heard video camera um, secretly voyeur this sex party, the people and participants of the sex party upcoming on this weekend. So she can put them on the dark web and make money off of them. So exploit and abuse the sex participants. But I, I feel, intuitively feel, and I didn't hear this, but I intuitively feel she's covering this up as like a party. As like a fun party to like entice and manipulate everybody to come in. Like everybody dress up. Like maybe it's a theme. Maybe it's a um, fun playful, everybody, you know, like a 50s theme or a um, 1920s theme or what have you, what have you, like a fun theme to everybody come and dress up fun and playfully, but that's the manipulative pretense to get them in and obviously alcohol involved to get them all loose and feeling fun and feeling flirty and feeling like they want to get up on people and mingle and socially and blase, 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 but the whole premise, she has, um, I heard she's going, um, the whole premise is she wants to secretly voyeur camera these people when they start having sex so she can put them on the dark web. And so if she's going, the, her whole premise is to secretly voyeur camera these people this weekend at one of these sex parties. Um, obviously alcohol is going to be involved, I'm feeling. I didn't hear it was, but obviously alcohol would be involved. It makes me wonder if roofies would be involved too. And I'm just being serious. I didn't hear roofies in here, but whoever this older feminine energy, 40 and above uh, person is, she's highly manipulative and she does it with, I feel flash and pizzazz and fun party time, come party with me vibes. But what she, but what you don't know is she apparently has access to some kind of dark web um, access to where she gets all these people fun and flirty and looking cute and wanting them to come over either to her house or somebody else's house the implantation of this hidden camera is, is dangerous for her very dangerous because if somebody finds this shit out or they find the uh hidden camera that's against their consent and authorization if somebody finds that camera that lawsuit all day long and that's just the truth this is, there's at least two of them coming up this weekend, at least two of these parties. And I think she's pretensing these, I think for the reason I'm pulling this in my reading this morning, Daily Tea, is one of you guys about to get invited to one of these parties. One of them, it's a femme energy 40 and above planning this party or, or attending or holding this party. She's either planning this party or holding this party. I feel at her house is what I'm feeling. Um, there's a way she's able to have the time to implant the voyeur camera. Or it could be at somebody's house she's close to, but I would just be careful. If you are getting invited to a group party this weekend and people are very fun and flirty and there might be sex involved, there might be, um, you know, these people are very fun and, fun and flirty, they might want to have sex with you or alcohol is involved or everybody's dressing all nice. 
and you think sex might get involved. I'm being for real. Um, yikes. Because somebody out there this weekend is going to implant a hidden voyeur camera with a group of people. Confirmation for my kitty, by the way. And her whole pretense in this is to make money on the dark web off all this, getting all these people sloshed, basically. So they will party it up and have sex with each other. Whoa. It is not going to go the way she thinks it's going to. Not at all. Both of these situations. It is not going to go the way she thinks it's going to. Not at all is what I heard. Both of these situations. So there's at least two in the universe it's going to occur this weekend. Um, I'm all about ideas, creative ideas, and fun. I'm all, for me, I'm all about fun and creative ideas and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm not all about exploiting people's rights, liberties, and putting people on the dark web, especially when it comes to sex um, or any reason. But I'm serious. Now, I do feel whoever you are about to get invited to this party, I do feel you're not a minor, thank God, and I think you are an adult. But you should still not should be exploited and abused. Um, and that is the premise of this older 40 and above them energy here. I'm being serious. I heard it's going to go left very soon and very quickly. So if you end up going, for some of you guys, I feel you might decline the, uh, the invitation. For some, you might go and maybe you find the hidden camera. For some, you might decline to have sex or decline the drinks or see somebody putting roofies in drinks or something. Somehow, this party is about to go very left very quickly, both of them. Um, and I feel police involvement might get involved with at least one of them. Um, we do have police involvement at the beginning of the reading with this, um, going public with the film psychic exploitation, exploitation and abuse of the psychic in the past, but this one hasn't occurred yet. The parties, upcoming swinger parties and shit, um, but pretensing as a fun party, S type energy hasn't happened yet. That's upcoming in the universe. Okay. Oh, okay, I didn't hear anything else. I, I, I didn't. Chaos is going to ensue at one of these parties. And one through many series of chain events will not occur. Chaos is going to ensue at one of these parties. And through many series of chain events, one of these parties will not occur. So chaos is going to ensue at one of these parties. And for one of these parties, it's not even going to occur. Um, so I think the reason I'm pulling this in is because you guys are about to get invited. So I think the reason one of these uh, parties is not going to occur is because you're going to decline the invitation, is what I think. I think one of them is sounds like going to occur, but it's going to be some kind of chaos ensuing. I think somebody finds a hidden camera, or they see somebody roofing somebody's drink or something, or uh, or something like that. I didn't hear that. That's just my deductive logic and reasoning. But one's not going to occur, but I think it's because you're going to decline the invitation, sir, ma'am. I think you're going to decline the inv invitation. I think you're going to get highly intuitive, or you're already over highly intuitive, and you're about to figure out this chickadoo's game plan. Um, She's very manipulative. Very. She, ooh, very. Mm. Okay, I'm getting out of this. All right, love you guys so much. Namaste.